again, you think by now I know better Locked in my head, romanticizing forever <laughs> I found another piece of music this morning uh, to use and I, I like it. I've shortened it down a little, just a little, so that we get right into the live stream. But welcome everyone. I'm Kathy Zilski. Welcome back to my studio and my channel. And can we just say this is, well, this is my favorite week of the year. It's just that, you know, Christmas is done. New Year's is coming. You don't have to have any real major plans. I know a lot of people go back to work. I'm working this week. I wish mostly that I wasn't, but I thought, ah, crafting's not work. You know, it's, it's just fun, but it's great to see you all here. And uh, I thought that I would, you know, make something today uh, with the stamp set that I've used before, trying to use more of the things and something that I really haven't used much of. Um, so that's what we're gonna do today. And yeah, there's no snow here in St. Paul, Minnesota, unfortunately, but you know what? It's kind of okay. I don't mind because I don't love shoveling anymore. I used to love it, don't love it as much. So it's good to see people popping in. I see people from my old stomping ground, Everett, Washington, Mill Creek, did some things in Mill Creek that I, well, I can't talk about on a family-friendly channel. Anywho, all right, it's good to have you all here. And I only have one promotional item to mention today, and that is, well, let's see if I have the right button. Simon Says Stamp is having a 25% off sale items. Now, one of the products I'm using today, there were still some of this combined set stamp and die as part of the sale. And we've got a wholesale section and all of my links will be in the description, but it ends on the 28th at midnight. So it's 27th today. There is a code BXDY23. I'll show that at the end if, if I forget or remember, but a uh, great time to look at all the things on sale, not just a few things in my collection, but there's a ton of other things there. So, oh, Samin, thank you so much. <laughs> just, you just you just drop money and you leave. That's, that's like a mic drop. That's a mic drop. Okay, I love it. Thank you so much. Um, and let me make sure I have some audio here so I can hear when those come through. Let's go to the table. All right, here we are. Uh, Dana, Dana's here. Hey, Dana girl, love you girl. Um, and yes, this is live. So if you're catching me by chance today, I'm actually live so anything can happen. Um, and hopefully a card results, but I never make a, a promise. I never make a complete guarantee because you never know. I mean, it, it could all fall apart. It could all fall apart. And I just saw a funny comment here, um, cause of the road, road rage. Never, never let me be the cause of your road rage, but I appreciate your, your dedication in terms of getting home. So yes, okay, let's get started. One of the things I wanted to do today, first things first, I'm gonna change my glasses. Also, I ordered some new glasses. They aren't here yet, but I, I'm very excited. I decided to go with pear eyewear. I've never ordered online. I have a very complicated prescription, so they might not work, but if they do, I'm gonna be able to do what my friend Ricky Romero does and just, yeah, Romero cards. Ricky, Ricky, Burton, Romero. I'm gonna get to change out my glasses, so I'm very excited about that. Oh, also wanna say <clears throat> hello to my moderators, Beth. I, I'm not sure if Emma is here, but I appreciate my moderators because if they see anything nasty, bumps you right out of the chat. But none of you do that. You are all just salt of the earth. Okay, so let's get started. Here's the thing. I have, okay, back in the day, people used to say to me, Kathy, you never use blue. And that is partially true. I don't use a lot of blue. So today I am going to stamp some blooms and make a card, but this card, okay, this is called Winter Wishes. It does have holiday greetings in it, okay? And but I wanted to use something from this set. Now I think, 
I may have made an error in naming it Seasons Greetings because the whole point of this set is there are little tiny typewritten greetings for many seasons. Um, and that was what I wanted to do, starting with Happy New Year, um, Happy Spring, You Are My Sunshine, Happy Fourth of July. Like not every season is represented. Well, I mean the four core ones. So what am I saying? Anyway, I wanted to make a, a little thing and have just a really dainty little greeting. So we'll see if that works. That's kind of the plan. That's the loose plan. But I want to make blue blooms because I don't use blue that much. So we'll see. Uh, how many of you out there are blue fans? Because I, I've heard it. I've heard from a few of you. Kathy, you don't ever use blue. I'm like, I know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to remedy that. Uh, welcome if you're just joining. I also wanted to say my hubby's on school break because he's a teacher. And, uh, you know, back in the day during Christmas break, before I was up in the studio, I would have to ask everyone to just be quiet, clear out of the dining room. And I'm telling you what. Not having to do that, that's pretty good. And I also asked him not to uh, cut tile while I'm live because we're still working on our bathroom. Oh, let me tell you. Okay, let's just make a few blooms and we're gonna start with blue. They're all gonna be the same, okay? I've done two cards at least that I have that I have shared. Oh, you, there's a lot of blue fans out there, okay? Figured there would be. Um, and it, it's I like I like the sea foam and the aquas much more than traditional blue. So we're gonna see how this goes. I hope it looks good. I have my waffle flower grip mat. This is the four and three quarter by six inch, which I mostly just keep in my misty all the time. And I usually take it out once a week and wash it just to get the stick back because uh, it does lose its stick. If you're embossing a lot and you use anti-static powder, like that gets all over the mat and then issues, right? Um, yeah, like, handyman, I don't know. I, I just saw this comment. <laughs> Kathy, I don't know. I don't know how handy, but we'll see. We're gonna we're gonna make it work. All right, let's start with marine. And this is the lighter. So I'm just I'm using the cubes today because I because they're small stamps and sometimes I just like to do the smaller. So let's get some of this ink on. Maybe I should have used the bigger ones, but I just, we'll see. I don't make often my, uh, what are they called? The, uh, the cards. I don't make them in advance. So we're never 100% sure what's gonna happen. Uh, are they going to work? Oh, Catherine, great question. I'm gonna be my own Tom today. I clean it with hot water and dish soap. That's it, Dawn, Dawn dish soap. So that way I just scrub it until it feels really uh, smooth and slippery and then I let it air dry. That's how I clean it and it's great. It, it works really well. That is really bolder than I thought it would be, but this is good. But yeah, then I let it dry, air dry and it's sticky again. Just, just like your stamps, like these, I've used these quite a bit. Now they're still, well, they're still sticky, but if this were to lose its stick, you could, you'd do the same thing, right? Just run it under hot water with some dish soap. Now I wanna make sure this is totally dry because I think I'll do three blues. Let's do three blues. All right, I don't know where those go. Let's do one more here. Baby shampoo would be great. Yeah, that'd be great. Um, whatever, just any gentle soap and then just let it air dry and try not to get a lot of lint on it. You know what I mean? Like if you have, I, I don't dry them with a cloth, put it that way. I put them on a little uh, bottle brush. It's uh, it's called the Boon, what is it called? The Boon Baby Bottle Holder. It looks like uh, grass. I think I showed it on a live stream recently. In fact, I'm just gonna show you. It's, it's this guy. <laughs> You know, you can, um, and I'll add links after the live is over for things that I mentioned, but I take it out, I put it on here. If there's any water, it drips, and I keep this in a drawer so nothing gets on it while it's dry. There we go. I love that. I love that little guy. Okay. Uh, did I do the second pass on this? Now I can't remember. You know what? I think it looks just fine. So let's say yes. Did I? don't remember. 
Oh, okay. Sika, look at you. I, I, I have some of my uh, Dazzle Dry nail crew here. <laughs> There's a lot of us crafters. I have a group chat with some of the ladies here today. And we just we just love our sharing. Like, here's the polish I did today. And uh, yeah, this color is called Seduction. And my daughter, uh, she, did, she stayed with us for several days and did her first Dazzle Dry. And it looked, oh my gosh, her nails look so good. Uh, no seduction. Okay, now we're going to move on to, see this has the A1, A2, A3. It's not a very complex layering set, and I did that on purpose because, you know, I, I, I'm not very good with layering stamps, but the A2 is for the big one, and the e, E1 and E2 is for the little one. See, the reason I want to keep using this is just to say, you know, these don't all have to be Christmas themed, right? I mean, this is this can be for any time of year. Now, I feel like this vibe is going to be pretty wintry, um, and that's fine. That was kind of my New Year's. I have a New Year's plan. Maybe we'll see. But we're going to move into the next darker, which is the Cadet. Okay, so inking it up. Yeah, I see another comment in here uh, from Pamela. You don't even need soap. You just need water, warm water. Just let it go. Let it go and you're good. Grip mats. It's it's funny how something will come along and that looks great. I'm not going to stamp that again. And then it kind of changes the way, uh, kind of changes the way you create. Also, the uh, for those of you who have uh, the Altenew stamp wheel, that works too, right? Because it's the same kind of sticky photopolymer. But as I, well, I'm working on a video that I'm going to be premiering for you this weekend and it's my top 10 favorite cards of 2023. I figured I wasn't gonna do it and then I'm like, well, you saved all the video exports, so why not do it? And it is funny just to watch how the things that I use change throughout the year. Hey, thank you, India Artworks. Appreciate that. I'm not getting any sound of those. There we go. I, there's like a little, it's it's not like a cha-ching, but I have a little sound thing set up. Um, oh, I'm talking and not finishing. Let's do this one. Anyway, uh, I completely forgot what I was talking about and that's okay because I'm getting a little inky here. We're all good. Okay, <laughs> we're gonna take that cadet and put that here. Now, what I haven't decided though, and I think I like doing silver on the inside um, for the last layer because I have some powder ready to go. But you know what? I am going to have to let this dry and we're going to have to work on the greeting. So that's what we're going to do. Going to do that. All right. Oh, people doing their nails right now. Uh, well, you're my people. Okay. So we're just going to let that dry for a little bit. See, that's, I mean, I see blue and I think, Oh no, you know what we can do? Let's do the leaves. <laughs> I see blue and I get confused. We need leaves. Now, I have pulled two different colors here. Here's what I'm not sure. I don't know if I wanna go with the more muted sage or the brighter field. Do you have a Do you have a pick? Oh, I was talking about my favorite cards. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Yvonne. Um, I've got my top 10 video coming and I'm gonna premiere it on the 30th which is, what day is that? Saturday, I think? I'll just do it around noon, about the same time. It's it's short, um, it's only about 13 minutes, but I, you know, if you wanna see anything you missed, I'm gonna have all the videos linked, but it was fun to put it together. And, uh, the, oh, now see, I'm seeing Sage and Field. You guys keep weighing in while I think about my greeting. Um, or while I think about my leaves, because I don't want too many leaves. You know, I wanna keep the leaves kinda easy peasy and breezy. So we'll just kind of scatter a few around. Mm. Eh. Oh, no, <laughs> here's what we're gonna do. We got, no, I see that's what I'm not sure. Do I wanna do the layered leaves? I kind of just wanna do some of these other leaves. So let's do that. Seeing a lot of Team Sage, okay. Uh, that's what I think, I think, I th yeah. Okay, I think we're gonna go Sage. All right, we're good. And I'm not sure how many of these I'm going to do. So we'll just fill in some of our spaces with uh, these leaves. And although I really like that, 
I just need to make sure I have enough room when I go to die cut. I'm not gonna use you, I'm gonna use you. Again, I'm not doing the, uh, uh, the layered one. I'm just gonna skip on that, skip out on that completely. Filled with sage highlights, that could be pretty too. Like I said, <laughs> we don't know. We don't know till we get there, but I am gonna try. I, I, I could do two-toned leaves, but if I do two-toned, hold tight. I would need to grab, yeah, see, I could be wrong here, but isn't this the trio? It's Aspen, Sage, and Pine. Maybe, maybe we could do a little bit of Aspen first and then Sage, because they definitely have a tone. So I'm gonna try that, okay? I'm gonna give that a whirl. Let's try the Aspen first. Like that. And just see what it looks like. Are we in the corner? We are. I'm getting very inky. Getting a little inky here. Welcome everyone, good to have you here today. I, uh, I'm happy, happy you're here. Actually, that's really pretty. This is a, and which one is this again? The Aspen, that's right. I'm trying to branch out today using colors that I don't normally choose. And blue, the true blues are definitely some of them. Now, let's take a little bit of the sage. You know what I forgot to grab? Uh, blender brushes, so hold on. I didn't really know I was gonna. <laughs> I didn't know I was gonna use them. All right, you go back here, and I'm gonna clean my brush off because I'm gonna put a little on. Uh, I don't know what was on there before. I, I never wash my brushes. I just paper towel, and it's good to go. All right. Okay, look at that spin. That's pretty. That's like spinner. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do is just deepen up the bottoms a little with some of the sage and then just kind of soften it. I don't know, like that maybe. So we get a little bit of the two-tone. Let's see how it looks. It might not look that different. Well, you definitely can see it. You definitely can see it. And you can even just tap on like that. It's pretty. Yeah, I like it. All right, let's get some more on here. And we'll just do these all together. Just a little tap, like that. Just kind of soften it. Even if it wasn't softened, I think it would still look good. But see, that's that's the beauty of the Misty. You know what I mean? It's a thing. It's a thing. All right, let's do a little more. Uh, I don't really have any funny holiday stories to share, except that my children are adults and. Uh, we decided we hosted some, yeah, that's pretty, right? It's just, you know, you see a little, you see a little change. All right. We hosted, um, our tradition on Christmas Eve has always been in our family, me, Dan, and then our, our kids. We always have kept Christmas Eve for our family. And what we used to do for years and years was go out for steak. Uh, and every time it seemed like Dan and I would go to a restaurant, on Christmas Eve, they would close the following year. So we have a history of shutting down many businesses. And uh, the last one we shut down uh, in our neighborhood was the Outback. And we used to go there every Christmas Eve and that was just a favorite thing. So when they closed, we decided to start just doing our own. And my other sister-in-law and her family join us. So this year we hosted and then my mother-in-law joined in because she now lives in the, in the cities near all the kids. And my other sister-in-law and her hubby came, and it was uh, it was great, and we had a lovely time. But then when everyone left, it was about ten fifteen, and we decided, um, thank you, Denine, appreciate the super chat. Um, we decided let's just open gifts, and my daughter was just she was she was not let's just say she was not happy. She's twenty seven years old. She's like. Uh, Santa comes at night, not in the evening. So I know that is, and that's what I grew up with. But sometimes when you have adult children, it's so nice to not get up. Do you know what I mean? So we all slept in, we opened our presents at night and uh, it was great. Okay, I am going to set this aside still because these inks 
are the ones I'm most concerned about and they take a little bit to dry. So let's get a greeting. Let's get a little greeting here. And I think, you know what would be fun? It would be fun if I could find a piece of cardstock that was close to this blue. And I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it, but let's grab the, uh, the bin. Let's grab the bin. All right. Okay, I don't know how many of you saw my little uh, reel. I did a reel, because apparently YouTube says, if you do reels, your channel will grow. Um, as I see another thumbs down come in, it's fine, it all counts. Um, but I, uh, I did a reel showing this little friend where I keep all of my color cardstock. And I just want to do one really small, oh, that, no, I don't think I like that. I want to do one small greeting and see what we think. I think this is too bright. Yeah, well, I don't know. Let me get this in camera so you can all see it. Yeah, that's a little tropical. Uh, it's nice to be able to dig through. Now, is this all the paper that I have in my collection? No, it's not. Um, a real? <laughs> if, if you don't know what a reel is, they are, eh, hold on. Reels are the short form content on Instagram. And I do, I do a few here and there, but you know what? Here's the thing. And I think I've said this before. I think that's close, right? Just, just for a tiny greeting, tiny. Um, uh, I, I just, I like, long videos. That's it. I don't, I don't, I don't even enjoy watching short form content. I think it's because yes, I'm old. I'm older and I'm glad I'm older, but do you know what I mean? Like I'll start to watch something on YouTube, like a short, a reel and a short. Um, Christine, that's a really good question. Um, I'll do this at the bottom, but I actually, let's do a couple. No, I like here's to a new start because that could be for anything, right? Um, but sometimes like I'll click on something and I just want more of it. And then I'm like, yeah, why Why are we this nation of 15 second? I think you know what I mean. I don't, I don't criticize it in terms of saying it doesn't have its place, but I just don't know. Like when I, when I do a reel, I do it if I think it's useful, like showing people my bin. I'm like, this bin's great. It's a great way to keep your stuff together, you know what I mean? And I love it. By the way, if you're wondering why is she getting so rubby with her stamp, getting the the coating off. All right, let's try let's just try this. Now, I feel like it would look good in silver because I'm going to be doing some more silver. So let me grab my little folded piece of paper. Oh, where are you? Here we go. All right. Let's give it a try in silver and see how it looks. And welcome if you're just joining. And yeah, I, I, you know, I like videos that take as much time as they need to take. Now, most of my videos on my channel, of course, every week now I try to go live. And I think I've done it probably many weeks this past year. Um, let's just try this light tap. Now, here's why. Because... This is, I mean, you can see it. That's actually exactly what I wanted. That is very delicate. So you don't want to squish. You just drop it down and then you say to yourself, self, we're good to go. No squishing, okay? And I'm going to leave this in here because I might also flip it and do it on with some white, but let's take a look. Um, most of my videos are pre-recorded, but I pre-record and I speak while I'm doing it <laughs> because that for me saves time. And also I like ambient crafting noise. I'm, I might be weird, but I like, I like the tapping. I like the sounds of the tools. Let's see how that looks. And that's why I do it the way I do it. But I actually edit all of the footage that I film live. And then once a week, I actually go live. Um, I saw a question. And it, oh, where did I get the bin? Found it on Amazon. I actually um, 
Where is my tool? It was my friend Bethany from Bethadilly uh, told me about uh, the bins because she had some in her drawer and I'm like, where'd you get them? Now it seems like they only sell them clear. Okay, so, uh, so there you go. All right, let's see how that looks. And I feel like I'm gonna take my craft pick here. This is gonna be very hard for you to see. I gotta be honest, it's very hard for me to see. I want to just go right in between that H and clear it out so it doesn't look like beers to a new start. Oh my gosh, gosh, hold on. Because you know, I mean, I like, well actually, no, I don't like beer. There we go. Sometimes you gotta do what's needed because, well, some people might like beers. All right, let's turn this on and heat it up. Mm. Okay, so now what we have, look at this. We have a teeny, t oh, sorry about that big jump. Here's to a new start, okay? Very delicate and very sweet. Now, let me grab, I might have a die for this that will be perfect. Where are you, Gina? Where are you, Gina? Here we go. All right. Okay. I think I can do this off camera. Hold on here. Turn you on. Now, I'm going to close that because I think it's nice and I think this will look pretty. I'm going to take one of Gina's sentiment strips. And I'm just going to be using my electronic, my electronic today. Um, some people do like beer. <laughs> Wait, Gina's here. Hi, Gina. Hi, hi, my friend. Look, I'm I'm using my little sentiment strips because they're just. I love I love when you can get it like fr from side to side. Oh, that's perfect. Look at that. And that gives you the whole frame. Do you know what I'm saying? And so this is a really nice set. I will again. I will update my supply lists. Uh, when the video is over because sometimes when I'm making stuff I have no idea what is going to get pulled out but that's perfect so I'm gonna just cut that out off camera and that's that's my greeting thank you thank you Jean I nailed the landing um I I am not a beer drinker um I I drank a lot of beer in college you know because some of us did that um, because, well, when I, I moved to Texas when I was 19 and I finished school in Arlington, Texas. Isn't that cute? Just so little. I'm going to do one more to get some extra heft to it. Um, and when I moved, I wasn't 21, but at the time the drinking age was 19. And then it went up to 21, but I grandfathered in because I had already aged into it and they didn't take it away. So I drank a lot of beer. <laughs> ah, that's my story. Oh, uh, Kelly Wicker, my daughter's allergic to beer. She can't, well, gluten, she can't do it. She, and she'll do gluten-free sometimes, but I don't think it's the same. Okay, so that we're gonna just glue together. And the whole time I've been doing this, right, I'm giving my other little friends some time to dry because I want to have a little matching silver. So, oh, Candy, we're only, we're only half over. You're, you're good. Is it, is it Gina sweet? Here's the thing, Gina. Will you be my Will you be my Tom today? <laughs> will you tell Tom to feed you a word of the day? Oh, I tried to watch last night, Gina, but I was I was hanging out with the with the hubs, and so I um I got into bed and watched after the live was over. But it, I always feel sad when I miss the live too because I love uh. I just I love the I love knowing that Gina's live and the community is there and everybody's watching and everybody's super happy to be there. Okay, now see how cute that is with the I think this will work. Cuz here's what we're going to do. We are going to tie in uh but before I do this, I want to make sure it's going to fall off. So, I'm going to take my powder. I just don't want my embossing powder to stick, you know what I mean? So we're gonna do that. That's still sticking. All right, I think I'm gonna have to do, 
Hold on here, I'm gonna brush this off. See, this is the thing with positively saturated inks. They take time to dry. So you know what I could do? I could cut out some of these things and then we'll do it, okay? All right, I'm gonna do that. Now, a lot of the time when I'm doing, you know, my videos that I'm filming for my channel, uh, I don't necessarily, I don't film them all in one big fell swoop, right? I'll, I'll pause the video and I'll walk away and then I'll come back when everything's dry. But here, let's get back here. Let me get, and again, I love the greetings in this set, but I just wanted to make something that was more neutral and not overtly Christmas, you know what I mean? Um, and that's a beautiful thing. Also, Gina, uh, there is, I'm doing my top cards of 2023 and uh, it's coming out on the ones that I made. No, they're all Gina's. Um, and there's a Gina K product in there and a card that, it, that was my one of my favorites. So that's all I'll say. All right, I'm gonna cut my leaves out now. Well, maybe, you know what though? I could cut everything. No, I'm not gonna do that because that would be, that would not be smart. All right, let's use some of the dyes. I feel like I have not done a ton with these leaves. So, you know, arranging, flower arranging, or whatever you call it, it's not really my strong suit. Um, you know, it's, uh, well, I could, I could, and, and I still might. Um, I just didn't want to warp the cardstock at all. But then again, come to think of it, let's get that there. Um, one of the benefits of having a grip mat is that if you have a little warping happening, it's, uh, you can stick your paper right down to it, you know, and that way, if it is warped, it'll hold it down. However, but you have to press on it, and then I'm afraid that my little oily mitts are gonna get all over the place, because, you know, they're, they're oilier than you think. All right, is that the one? Yes. So let's do our leaves first, like that. And, yeah, looking good. All right. Uh, and that should be good enough. We're gonna cut these first, okay? So I'm gonna run that through. Like that. And yes, this is a glass mat um, from Glassboard Studio. Um, I have another white one coming. And so, cause I wanna have two side by side. I have a black mat over here and I just thought, you know, what I really want is to have uh, a big white work surface on my table. And so I've got another one coming. They're, they're great. I just never, uh, I never, uh, I never thought I would work on a glass surface and I love it. Becky White, first time watching. Well, welcome. This isn't your typical, I mean, this is my weekly live. So, you know, sometimes things happen and sometimes things don't, but let's see. You know what? I'm going to take the advice that was just given to me now, and I'm gonna hit this with the dry, with the dry tool, with the dry thing. Hold on here. Let me grab. All right. Oh, now sometimes when I'm when I'm gonna dry something, I like to use this heat it tool because it just has a, it's just softer. Um, and yes, this is magnetic. Amanda wants to know why do I like fruit salad? Because it goes great with potato chips. All right. We'll just, we'll just hasten the drying a little. Not enough to warp the cardstock. Now, potato chips and fruit salad, let's just say this. Mama's gotta, mom's gotta lay off the potato chips and fruit salad. Yeah, that's just gonna happen. Um, how many of you ever, uh, do a dry January? Dry January. Um, let me know in the comments because my, my daughter was talking about it and I'm like, you know what? I, I could just use a, I could use a, <laughs> a detox January. Just like, let's just, let's just calm down, Kathy. Let's, uh, let's just, let's just have a, a kale, a kale January where all I eat is kale. And, uh, and then I, maybe I get in better shape and I'm also exceedingly sad. <laughs> um, Okay. Kale January, yeah, I don't know. I don't know about that, but let's pop this in here now. 
I'm gonna assume that I'm dry enough and I'm also gonna powder this up. I'm gonna powder this up because I'm going to put the centers in and we're gonna do them in the Versamark and then we're gonna have shiny centers. So let's place them first. This is for the big one and for this one, again, doesn't really matter. Just, you know, drop it in like that. And, oh, here's our little one. And down here, okay. Hard, hard mass under, well, yeah, we'll see how long it lasts. I mean, you know, I like, some days I do. I do like to unwind with some potato chips and some fruit salad. So, what are you gonna do? Okay, pick these up and now comes the powder, all right? <laughs> yeah, Thurbs, fruit salad, not fruit. I mean, I guess in a sense, uh, Barbara has a question. I'm gonna pop this up while I'm doing this. Do I prefer the Anna Griffin over the Gemini? Well, I, as far as electric machines, that is the machine I'm using now and my Gemini's in the closet. Um, the, I use electric and manual and I've recently started using uh, Gina K Designs, the intercut machine because it only requires a couple plates and you just change your tension. So I use them for different times and different things. Sometimes for my lives, I will just use my electric machine when I'm uh, not having a lot of space. The Gemini is a great machine. I, I can't say anything uh, bad about it other than the plate warping issues, but then there's ways to get around that if you use the what is known as the Jennifer McGuire sandwich. I call it that because that's where I learned about well, if you Google, if you go to Jennifer McGuire's channel, I'll link her Gemini plate video. It's fantastic. But Jennifer also has a great video on the Anna Griffin. And that was kind of the last straw for me to give it a try. All right. And, and I love it. Um, the plates don't really warp. I'm not pressing very hard, by the way, here. And I really, really like that uh, Anna Griffin machine for an electric machine. And I got it on sale at the Home Shopping Network for a uh, pretty, pretty low, like 194 for the whole thing. Uh, Zan wants to know, have I used it with embossing folders yet? Not really, and that's where I would prefer using the IntraCut because that is a machine that I'm getting really great results with. I've always preferred manual machines for um, embossing folders, and I'm sure I could figure it out but you know, here's the thing. This is the crafting supplies and tools. Those are my shoes. Those are my handbags. Those are those are my wardrobe. There's a reason I have the same shirt on all the time. Um, I spend my money on technology and machines. Um, so yeah, that I I love the intercut for embossing. Okay. Now let's see. <laughs> can't bend over. Let's see how this works. All right. We're going to take our little clip and we're just going to put our gold on for the centers. I, I could play around more with embossing folders and the, and the uh, Anna Griffin. I just don't. All right. So now that looks great. All the powder. Yeah, that's pretty well dry. All right. Yeah, I just, I don't, well, okay, I'm gonna, if I'm being honest, when you work from home and like I could have, I could have my PJ pants on all day. Um, and oftentimes I, I, I will. Um, wardrobe isn't a big expense anymore. Sure, I'll buy a shirt or two, but um, if I remember, I'll show you what, what Santa gave me and me being me for, for Christmas. Um, well, actually he gave me this new monitor. <laughs> We'll talk about that more in a minute. All right, let's melt these. There we go. I, you know, I just, yeah, I, I spend my money on tech and craft. Although, you know, and see how pretty that is? very subtle, right? Just those nice silver, and that's gonna have a nice link 
to this silver. So I think I think we're getting there. I think we're getting there. Um, let's cut these out. Yeah, clothes, eh, not really my thing, but the other things, you know, you know how it goes. <sighs> oh, Diane, yeah, clothes, I don't know. I, uh, lot, I wear a lot of soft pants. The <laughs> pants I have on now are very soft. And that's how I like it. I think these are all pretty easy to frame and cut. I'm not gonna, I don't think I need tape on that, right? I could get fancy and really frame these out well, but I think I'm just gonna do this. Um, oh, Kenzie, yeah, in terms of, that's that's another thing about the intercut. It is very easy to crank because it sticks to your table. It sticks really well to the glass. Oh, there we go. That one has the little loop-de-doop. And I love that um, because then it's not hard on my wrists. Okay, did I get the loop? Yeah, those all look good. All right, let's cut these out. Also, I haven't had my die cut cam uh, set up for a while. <laughs> Just haven't felt like it, I don't know. I, I feel like it's, it's uh, well, it's what it is. Um, the funny thing is I, I see some people talking about, you know, working, oh, look at those, they cut great. Oh, so cute. Um, working from home and uh, having meetings and stuff. I am really lucky because I have meetings too. I have Zoom meetings with my uh, Simon Says Stamp design team. We meet every month and I also meet with my scrapbook and cards today team but everybody's just so chill and cash that you don't have to really you, you can show up you can roll out of bed for those meetings and nobody nobody cares and that i love um all right how are we looking there yeah that'll look good too you know i may i may change my mind on the greeting but right now i think that's going to be fine I, I can't see this unless I bend right over it. So forgive my head for just a second. There we go. All right, good enough. I don't even know if my head shows up there, but here we go. All right, let's run it through. And now, now comes the hard part, the arranging. The arranging. Okay, so now I have flowers. And there are three and I have some leaves and I don't know what the heck we're gonna do yet but let's just put some of these things back in the pocket so I don't lose them and we are going to oh <laughs> there's a lot going on on this 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 is a big set but again I think 25% off on this combo set which is good that's a good deal because the bigger sets and especially the dies this has a lot of dyes in it, and so, uh, well, we got that. Okay, now I think another thing that I'm going to do is I need a note card. All right. Ah, come here. Come here, you little note card. And I actually am not sure if I'm going to do a panel. You know what? I, sh I should do a panel. Let me grab one. Gotta, gotta show you this too. This is my other one. These aren't really meant to go into this size. I, I had it all organized really well for a while, but the packs, these bins, they come in a four pack. Well, I think you can buy them individually. I have four. And again, I think they're only available in clear right now, but um, I use this too to keep my other white papers and then all specialty scraps so that I don't have to, you know, if I have like a little tiny piece here, of gold, I stick them all in together. Uh, will I show a close up of the flower? I will indeed. The flower looks like this. All right, let's get a close up here. See how it has the gold, <laughs> the gold. See how it has the silver centers? Isn't that nice? And the color really has dried back quite a bit. Let's zoom out here. Uh, yeah, it's much paler than I thought it was going to be because that and that's what happens with our with our inks, which is why I'm like, I'm not 100% sure if I love this color 
like I might want to go with something lighter and I can you know what sometimes I change my mind um, but what I wanted to do was let's take mm, not this yet let me grab where did I put that I just had it out here master layouts two maybe maybe this is the one I want so I think I want to cut which one is the smaller one this is master layouts two from Gina K Designs and I'm going to cut out a white panel so that I have something with a little stitch because this is going to be so clean and simple I think it's nice just to you know, step it up a tiny little bit I could ink cardstock to match, actually. That would be a good eye too, but I, or a good eye. That would be a good eye. Hey, good eye, um, a good idea. So here I'm gonna set this right here. Now I wanna show you why having a tool like a swatch ring is good for cardstock. Let me grab mine. Because it is possible here, now that these have dried, I'm gonna take a look here <laughs> at my card stocks. Do I have a color in, okay, this is my Gina K Designs, and let's move you out so we're not, here's this one, let me grab the others. Concord, Spellbinders, oh my goodness, hold on, we're coming. Now I know that not everybody needs a ginormous uh, stamp or swatch ring by company, right? What you could do is just take some of your favorites and let's see here, and then just see like what, what might you have that would look really good. Let's get the leaves out of there for right now. Um, and you just put, you would put like the name and the company and it's a really, oh, I don't have anything in Spellbinders. Let's see what the Simon looks like. Sometimes it's just a really nice way to pick a color. And you know what? I know this is very, very, is that almost identical? That is blueberry. <laughs> I think that's the same, isn't it? That looks like the exact same cardstock. So I think I'm probably fine. I don't think I'm gonna change. I don't think I'm gonna change at all. All right. Um, why do I always, here's a question from Amanda. I'll pop this up. Um, nope, not you, Mari. It just slipped on me. Uh, Amanda wants to know, why do I always use white cardstock for my die cuts as your finished project? Um, I like the crispness of white. I can't, it, it's just a personal preference. I think sometimes, right, we, we like what we like and then we use it. Um, and that's me. I just, I just like the look of it. But you know what could be fun with this? What if I made a mat to match? Let's, let's see if I have that uh, panel again. All right, let's bring this out. I don't always mat my card stocks, right? But when I do, I know I have one more piece of this somewhere, or do I? Oh, is that it? Yep, that's it. Okay, I'm gonna cut this. And we're gonna make a matte layer. I am just a big fan of white cardstock in general. And I think it goes back to all my years in graphic design um, and having um, the desire to incorporate open space or white space and as much clean one um, as I possibly can. And, um, oh, that one is, I think it's, 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 I cut too much out of it. So that's gonna go into the scrap bin. All right, let's cut this out. Where's my tape runner? There we go. I just really like it. I like white cardstock. <laughs> Another thing is, you know, for years being a print designer, working for magazines, and I still, I'm still lucky enough to do that. If you'll notice in scrapbook and cards today, um, I definitely preserve as much open and white space as I can in the magazine design. Um, hey, I see my friend Andy here. Hey, Andy, good to see you. Um, 
and yeah, so that's it. Now here I'm trying to do something a little different for me, right, which is to mat something together. So let's take a little tape runner here on the back. I still don't know what the full design is going to look like. Oh, wait. Oh, it's okay. I was going to do a little ink spatter, and I still can. Uh, let's line this up right on the matte layer like it was meant to be. How about that? Looks pretty good, Kathy Z. And no, I was off a little. I always, I got to stand up. I can't do it. Um, Leanne has a question. She wants to know what weight and brand is this? This right here is the Nina Classic Crest in Solar White. And it's the 110 pound. And I use this a lot um, when I'm crafting. But here's what I'm going to do. I am going to put a little ink spatter on this. So let me get, I need a brush. I need to move you here. I need a little bit of water. And can I can I show you something? I um I bought this cover. It's for my main computer, but I feel like there's I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put this in front of my new monitor because I don't want my new monitor to get covered with ink. And I am telling you, uh, it shows up everywhere. Okay, let's take some of the, oh, that looks very dark. Some of the Cadet. I'm going to ink it up or wet it down. Is that on screen? I hope it is. Pick up my brush. And I'm just going to put a few, I need more water, a few little spatters of blue on the card. That's it. I want it very simple. All right. <laughs> There we go. I was really scared to do that, but there we go. A little tiny bit, and then I will just clean this up. It's not much, right? You could do black too, but I just thought that'd be kind of cute. And then we'll just do a quick clean like that. Good enough. All right. Thank you for being here today. Uh, we're happy to have you. And by we, I mean me, myself, and I. Uh, Mindy, this is seduction. I'm feeling, well, I'm feeling like a bit of a seductress today. Okay, let's dry this off. Oh, Bonnie C wants to know, um, how, how am I feeling about the blue? I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling, I'm feeling strangely fine. Okay, let me grab some foam tape. Uh, does anyone remember, uh, oh, can you use Wink of Stella? That's a great question, Gwen. Oh my gosh, yeah, you totally could. That would be beautiful, especially if you were on like a darker uh, cardstock background. That could be beautiful. Uh, Sharon, Sharon wants to know, where did I get the little paper bins? They are from Amazon. I found a four pack and I used them and I love them. And they are now available, though, in clear. I was not able to... I clicked on the ones that I ordered, which were white, and they link out now to ones that are clear. I'm not sure why M Design stopped that, but uh, I, apparently they did. All right. Popping you here. I saw something Diane said, too, um, and she gets it. C'est vrai, Diane. Does that mean that's true? Um we have a we work on a white screen that's a really good point every 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 surface that we start with in design is your white background um and i think it just kind of gets drilled into your designer brain after many many years and i gotta tell you i love it i love it uh garrett the difference is i think it's just well okay i could be talking without knowing what I'm talking about, but it's a different color. It's a different color. Um, and it could be a different GSM. Like, I don't think the Nina index is as smooth. And there is, yeah, uh, Beth's got, she's got it. It's the GSM. It's not as smooth as the Solar, or the Classic Crest. Okay, now let's get a note card. And we'll get out the skirt, buddy what Dan calls it, the skur buddy. Zoom out just a little here. And I'm gonna do this at five and a half. 
yeah, the this is a really smooth cardstock. Also, um, Gina K Designs has a heavy base weight that is smoother than the Nina, which can be really nice. At least it certainly feels smoother. I don't know if Gina's still here, but um, and does anyone can anyone des define GSM? It has something to do with oh, I don't know. <laughs> That's the one thing. Whenever, whenever I would spec uh, paper for print jobs, which believe it or not, I used to do back in the old days, and it drove me crazy because I'd be like, I don't care, just put it on white paper. Um, grams per square meter. So thank you, Gwen. Um, it it affects the smoothness, I believe, and the okay, and the density. Okay, look at all you people. See the reason. <laughs> People in the United States, we don't know it off the top of our head because the word gr gram is in there or something like that. Number of threads going through the paper. Well, that is, I, you learn something new every day. Um, oh, she did. Okay. Th Jennifer McGuire did something too. Now, here's what we're going to do. We're going to just pop this. Now, did I get that folded wrong? I did. Hold on. Mm. I have some cardstock that I picked up from the paper mill and I still have some in my stash and it is not, uh, the papers themselves are not cut properly. They're off. Uh, Candy Welsh has a question. <laughs> uh, when I hit 100K, will Dan make a card with you? Actually, that could be fun if he did one with me. Um, he's already agreed, and let me let me magnet this down or tape it down. Uh, when I hit 90, he will, in fact, uh, he will do another voiceover video. So that's kind of cool too. Um, but uh, that's a ways off. You know, here's the thing on YouTube. I, my channel grows nice and slow, and I love that because you know what? I'd rather have people come to my channel who are truly interested in what I'm doing around town here. And many of you are, and so I'm just grateful for you. Time, it's gonna take time, you know? And uh, and I'm grateful, grateful for all of it. Now, let's get, you know, let's get the new Foam Square Center, okay? Well, Garrett, you know, Garrett's mentioning that we need another blooper. There are far fewer bloopers now that I'm up here. And that's 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 the blessing and the curse, right? I don't think we're ever going to have as much fun as we did um back in the day because you know, that was uh that was when people just walked through uh all willy-nilly and what you know, what else what else was I going to do? Um, I'm not sure yet how this is going to look, um, but give me a second. I know that I want my center friend to be popped up the most, so I'm going to take a thicker foam square, not that big one, uh, and pop these on. Where did my little pick, pick go? There we go. Okay. And we're going to pop you maybe one and two. Another reason I like this cardstock, I like to do my die cuts and stamping. Oh, thank you, Joe. Just saw the super chat come through. Thank you so much. You're so kind. <laughs> okay, I want that to have a little a little pop up. But uh, let's let's look at some of these greeneries too, because this is where. And I may have to cut some of this because I don't know if I want to have a ton in here. And that's a beautiful thing. You can sh you can shorten these, and you can say you're gonna be up here coming out of that. It's just this is not <laughs> it's not good. At this I really <laughs> like when I do it. I feel like what are you, Kathy? What are you doing? Um, maybe a couple up here, one down here. I'm gonna because I need to figure out my where my placement's gonna be for this. Mm. Boy, yeah, I don't know. We're just gonna we're just gonna think about that for a minute. Got all these great elements, and then I start to panic. Okay, let's get some thin foam squares on these friends. Uh, a super chat is just like a it's like a tip jar. It's like a tip jar, and uh, it's certainly not expected and always appreciated. But thank you so much. It's it's a uh, it's how people 
show support for a channel. But it really, you know what, you just being here, I appreciate it as well. So, okay. I, I need this to be shorter because right now that's bugging the crap out of me. So don't be afraid to give your blooms a haircut. Okay, I'm gonna get you here. I want this to have sort of a, a look like this. Let me also pop you up. I think Gina's sentiment strips, yep, they work perfect like that. All right, we're getting some dimension. Uh, yeah, I wish I wish we did all use the same weights and measurements because it would make it would make life a little easier in understanding what things are. But here we go, we're we're getting it. So I want this to be popped up, and I want that leaf to be. I might have gone too short with that. Hold tight. This is the part. Where I look at the clock and I'm like, I told I told the hubby, yeah, I'll be done about one, and he's like, good, because he's gonna start working in the bathroom. But hopefully. Hopefully he won't come up while I'm still while I'm still live. Okay, so that's kind of the look I'm going for. And I'll slide you in there, maybe a little bit right there, and a couple at the top. Um, I could do that, couldn't I? <laughs> what if I did? That's a good idea. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's better. Thank you. Arranging flowers is just not in my comfort zone. All right, we're gonna do that. We're, go we're gonna start up here in the center. Things need to be stuck down. <laughs> get. Oh, Kathy, all right, get here. Let's go right in the center with this bloom, okay? Like that. Once things are in place, then I feel like I have an easier time positioning. And then we can have one here, maybe one up a little higher, and then we can squeeze some of these guys in like mm, a little guy up here. Mm, maybe like that. And then have this big one over here coming underneath. Kind of like that, so let's do it. Let's see. Uh, wagon wheel and radiate from the center point. Okay, that is... <laughs> That is helpful. Can you can you tell who's never done much with flower arranging before? That would be me. So here we're gonna we're gonna radiate. We're gonna we're gonna come out from here. <laughs> we're radiating. I feel the radiation is happening. Um, yeah, I did have a great. I hope you all had a good Christmas. Those who celebrate the holiday, were I feel like though I should have something coming from the bottom as well just something spindly now we're committing to something that we don't even know is going to work uh we're going to have you tucked in here maybe like that hey there we go that's looking better right i think i think we're getting close okay let me take this little friend off overlap the two small okay we're gonna do it we're gonna go you're there like that and then we're gonna overlap you yeah Sherry I know there are people here who are so good at this and I want you all to know I am NOT and that's okay because you know what we're not all good at everything all the time although that I think that's cute but it's fun to try right it's fun to play and try to figure out you know how are we gonna make this work and how are we gonna make that work? And I think that's part of the fun. That's far, That's part of playing, right? You just kinda figure it out. Oh, Allison has a good question. She wants to know if my grandkitty spent Christmas with me and the answer is he did. He was such, he and he was so cute. He, um, or maybe, I'll, yeah, I'll go right there. He got a bag of goodies for Christmas and he, he was just so cute with it, um, yeah. It, it, it was very cute. Um, and then over here, we're gonna pop you in as well. And again, I'm not gluing the whole thing down. I'm just gluing kind of the base like that and then slide you in so that it has, you know, a little, little zhuzh, little zhuzh there. That's not bad. I wish I had another one to put up top, um, but I don't think I'm gonna stamp it out 
um, right now because we could also just do that. Oh, we could do that with, a, we can add a sequin or two. So let's pop you here. And coming up, leaves on the left side. Are we good? We've got a few. I mean, I wish I had one more leaf, but like I said, I think I may add one before I take a picture, but I'm not gonna, I don't think I'm gonna do it on the live. Cause a little one up top could be real cute. You don't even see the extra stamping either. That's kind of funny, right? Um, with the different shades. But again, you don't know. You don't know until you get there. But now this, we are clustering close to the center. Yes. And I actually really like this. Oh, come on. I'm not quite in the center. Come on now. There we go. Bring up the T-square. Oh, we went up a little high. Are we centered? Okay. There we go. I like this sentiment, here's to a new start. This could be for anyone, right? Oh, I think that's cute. Do we need one more little tiny leaf? Hold on here, this is not hard to do. I'll tell you what, let's be wild and let's just, oh, that looks terrible. Do I have another piece of cardstock? I do. Hold on here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go a little rogue here for a minute. And I'm gonna do one more little leaf up top. Like just uh, oh, this little guy coming out. All right, here we go. I'm gonna stamp this. I'm gonna free range stamp it. Oh, you know what though? I need to do it in Sage. Cause if I'm only getting one shot, there we go. I need to do it right. We'll, we'll do a couple. Hold it, lift. Whichever one looks best, we'll use it. Yeah, maybe I'll do one in Aspen too. You know, I do stamp with blocks occasionally. And I love stamping with a block on a glass surface. It works so good. Okay. All right. Let's cut this out. <laughs> I gotta find the little guy. I actually feel like the sage is probably gonna be the, the way to go. Where'd you go, little leaf? Now I gotta, gotta find that die. Uh, is it, I think it's this one? Let's see. Yeah. All right, let's cut this out real quick. I just think it needs one more at the top cause, cause five, okay? Five is a magic number. It's kind of this odd number. Hold on here. Let's get you in. Let's see how that looks. All right. Running it through. Running out of room for the die cut machine to turn. So overlapping leaves on the top left. The problem is I already have... Oh! <laughs> that didn't work at all. Okay, okay, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to go with this one. What happened with that? It didn't, something slipped. Okay, let's try it again. That's why you always, that's why you always have a backup, Goose. You know what I'm saying? All right, run through. It slipped. Deborah, 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 that is a good question. Um, it was given to me. It's it came with the uh, bottle or with it. Someone sent me a glue topper that had beads. Um, it had beads and it was decorative and it was this woman named Gloria. See, here's what I want to do. Well, okay. I what about that? I think that fills out. I mean, I was thinking here, but you know what? I think it's better up here and a little overlap. Do we like that? I do like that. Um, this came with beads on it and it's basically like a corsage pin, like a straight pin. Um, nothing too fancy. Okay, we like it, we're good. And we say, uh, we say we're okay. Okay. And yeah, here it is with blue. And look at me, I don't, uh, I don't mat things very often. And I just was kind of feeling it because 
you know, it's, uh, well, let's try something different, you know? Get in there, get in there, and press. Yeah, they're stainless steel pens. I mean, I have pins. I have other ones as well. Now for this card, to finish it off, my hubby's probably looking at the clock thinking, you said you'd be done by one. Hey man, hey man, just be cool. I am gonna grab some of these. I actually really like these. In fact, these are satin silver pearls. And I'm only the reason I'm dumping them this way is I like the little teeny tiny ones so much. And I find them to be very hard to find also. There we go, 50% chance that it's gonna go on the side that, there we go. And then we'll go medium, medium, and is this bigger? Yeah. Okay, medium, medium, uh, and one big one, we'll see. So what I'm gonna do <laughs> is I'm just gonna pop these on. So let's go here with a little tiny one up here into a medium. And then down below, we're gonna finish our cascade and follow the pattern down. Okay, like that and that. And what I like about this is, well, I just like the flow of coming down like that. I think it's fun. Actually, this could go more like that. And then you've got your spatter over here. I think that's really cute. What do we think? We like? I think we like. We like! Okay. You know what though? I Now that I'm looking at it, I don't. I want it. <laughs> it's funny, when it comes to these kinds of sequins, I need one that's just a little smaller. I really do like, there we go, that's better. I like my first placement. I can't, I can't lie. I'm gonna do that. All right, we're booping it up. Okay, we're just about done. We're in the home stretch with these, and satin silver is so nice. All right, little glue. Boop. Boop. That one's smushed out a bit, but I still think it's nice. Uh, I, I, it's a fine line getting the right amount. Boop. And letting it sit right here. Pick you up and and then just a little bit here, like that, boop. And that is my finished card project. You zoom in here a little bit. That's very different for me, I, I have to tell you. Um, also, whenever I finish with my glue, I wipe off all the excess and make sure it's all picked off the edges. And then I take that pin, I pop it back in, and I am good to go. All right, so zhuzhing you up a little, and then I'll take pictures of this and post this later, but that's the finished card. So very simple, colors that I normally do not work with. Love the greeting, here's to a fresh start. And again, this little set, I just think it's fun because there's all these little, everything from Happy Hanukkah to Very Merry Christmas, have a great school year. It covers, that's why it's called Seasons Greetings, many seasons, but yeah, that's the finished card. So I will, uh, after this video is done, I will make sure to go and update all of the supplies. Beth, I appreciate you doing that for me today. And uh, Beth, should we give this card away? <laughs> should we give it away? I'm, I'm trying to start to do that yet. So. Um, if Beth says yes, I'm going to have her just randomly scroll through the comments and find someone to give the card away. All right, Beth, I'll let you do it. And uh, I'll just keep an eye here on on the chat. And then whoever whoever's name we, we choose here. Let me see if my dual cam's working. <laughs> well, it's not. Let's uh, let's. Uh, Let's flip this camera. Let's go back to the table. Things aren't always working, um, <laughs> which is crazy. But anyway, really thank you all for being here today. And uh, yeah. Oh, all right. Here we go. Kathleen 
Uribe or Uribe. Kathleen Uribe, you are the winner of the card. So all you need to do is send me an email at Kathy at KathyZilski.com and let me know where to send this card to you and I will do that. Again, that's Kathleen Uribe or Urib. And uh, yeah, that should be fun. So, hey, that was fun. And of course we went a little over time, but hopefully, you know, got a cute card to give away. So thanks for being here today. Again, thank you for your comments and your participation. I will be back with more cards this week. I know I'm going to have my top 10, probably do that on the 30th. So that might be the next one. It's coming. And yeah, I, uh, well, thanks for being here. I never know what to say at the end, but I just wanted to say thank you for being here. And I will see you back here with another card project soon. Bye. Thanks so much for joining me today for my live stream. If you're not a subscriber, I'd love to have you, so hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss the next time I post. Here are a few more videos you might be interested in checking out. Thanks for watching and have a great day.